Whew. What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. So today we're gonna to be talking about how to get a second date. This is actually a pretty big problem for a lot of my students, you know, especially if they're good looking, successful, or, or maybe they're really charming and have a lot of game, okay? Not all of this stuff is going to guarantee you a second date with a woman. Um, so a lot of guys don't understand like the reasons why women go out with men or why they wanna spend time with them. Okay, so what I'm gonna talk about in this video are the three most common reasons about why a lot of these guys can't get a second date. Um, and this can be quite frustrating for a lot of people, okay? You know, you go out on a date with a girl, everything seems to click, everything seems to like, this is going perfectly, I'm really into this girl, she's really into me, there's obviously a ton of attraction going on, why won't this girl go out on a second date with me? Well, by the end of this video, you're gonna know why, um, and you're also gonna know the right way to conduct yourself on a date. Okay, cool. So before I get into this, if you guys are wondering about how to get coached by me one-on-one -on -one to prevent this kind of stuff from happening to you, uh, fill out the form down below. And if you seem like a good fit for working with me one-on-one, -on -one, we'll reach back out to you. Okay, cool. The first reason why a lot of guys don't get a second date, uh, especially if there's a lot of attraction there, is because they're too intimidating to the girl. <laughs> so what do I mean by this? I mean that the girls literally sees you as like way up here and she's kind of like you know in some other area okay you guys are on two different planes so typically this happens when the guy's talking a lot about like oh you know uh, my business is really successful blah 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 you know I, I own a yacht I do all this stuff like she's gonna think that's cool that's awesome you're a really successful person but maybe you guys don't click maybe you're not the right kinds of people for each other okay attraction is not the only reason reason why women go out with men. In fact, it's probably not even the most important. The most important, I think, especially in this context, is comfort. If she feels good and comfortable around you, she's gonna wanna go out with you again. But if you're talking about all of these crazy things that you're doing, all of the success that you're having, she's gonna think like, wow, this guy's like good looking, like rich, doing all this crazy stuff. He's just in a completely different realm than me. Like I think we're, I think we're not compatible is probably what she's gonna think. She's not gonna feel good good when she's on this date with you because she's going to see like you're doing all this stuff and you know maybe on her Saturday rather than going to a yacht party she was just watching Orange is the New Black so she's not going to feel very comfortable on this date even if you seem like this super high level successful person not every woman wants that okay sure bragging about things will attract some women that's why men do it but they wouldn't do it if it didn't work uh, but these are not the women that you're going to want to date Okay, second reason. A lot of guys who are very successful or maybe guys that are like high performance individuals, I find this is a big problem for them. They tend to pressure and control the girl too much. Meaning when they're on the date, they want things to go exactly the way they want them. They want the girl to text them after. They want the girl to uh, do certain, like act a certain way. And you know, not every girl is gonna act the way that you want to. In fact, the vast majority of women probably aren't going to act exactly the way you envision them or want them to. Now some of this comes from them being paranoid that they're going to be seen as needy or that the girl's going to lose attraction for them. So they, for them it has to go in a certain sequence otherwise things are going to go bad and this girl's going to ghost me again and it's going to be another girl that I've lost. So you have to relax dude. You have to be cool with who she is as a person. You have to be uh, fine if she wants to you know, not text you at a certain time or conduct yourself in a certain way. If you try and control people if you try and pressure them to do something, then they're gonna wanna run away, especially if she is half a brain and is smart and knows herself, okay? Women don't like that, or people don't like that, especially at the beginning. So if you find yourself doing that sort of stuff, I would take a step back. Again, here, less is more. Okay, the third and final reason that I've seen a lot of guys, and you know, there are more reasons, but these are like the biggest ones, um, is neediness. This is the biggest fear that a lot of guys have, and it's the one that I put last. Um, and the reason why a lot of guys fall into this trap is because, again, they need the girl to like them, they need the girl to do this. So this is why I recommend, actually, if you're dating or just like going on first dates with people, I actually recommend that you're talking to a few different women, okay? Maybe talk to like five or something like that. 
what's going to happen is you're not going to put all of your hopes, your dreams, your expectations on this person uh, that you're going out on a date with because you have a lot of options. And ironically, that is a better way to meet people. She's going to feel a lot more comfortable with you because you're not trying to force her to do anything. You don't need to see her. You're not like women do not want a guy who needs them. They, they have enough shit going on themselves for them to have to take care of you and satisfy your needs too. Like that's not what she wants. She wants a guy that's going to compliment her uh, and enhance her life. Okay, so if you're that guy that really needs her to text you, text you back, that you need, she needs to go out with you, and you need to know that she likes you and all of that stuff, especially, that's going to drive her away faster than anything. Okay, so again, be more relaxed, be confident in who you are, assume the attraction, and a lot of this stuff will generally fall into place. A lot of women that I talk to, they're literally just looking for a normal guy, you know, like like a normal guy for them. A lot of times, is enough to get a second date. You know, and if you're that normal guy at the very minimum, then that's probably going to get you a second date. So I can actually tell a story about this. Um, you know, one of my clients, I'm, obviously I'm not going to say his name, but again, super good looking. Actually, I have a couple clients that are like this. Super good looking, super successful. Um, and the girls that meet them, they're very, very interested in them. You know, like they have no problems getting a girl to have sex with them. They have no problems at the beginning areas. Uh, but when they start to go out with them, when they start to date them, a lot of these issues start coming up and the girl gets kind of scared away and they slowly stop hearing from them. Um, and so for these particular students that I have, a lot of times it's because they are being too intimidating. And again, here, attraction is not the answer. So before they were thinking, oh, this girl's not attracted to me, she lost attraction for me, all of this sorts of stuff. I don't think it's necessarily attraction, but I do think for a lot of these guys, what happens is that she doesn't really want to go out with him because they, they're not compatible, okay? With men, they think that if they're at a certain level, like there's, there's levels to attractiveness, and if you're just at a certain level, then you get the girl. Not really true. People, women have types. Women have, you know, personalities that they go for that they gel with a lot better. I can't tell you the number of girls that I've dated where basically they went for a guy that I didn't think was at my level. I thought that this guy was way below me. But they felt more comfortable with him. To, to her, that sort of stuff wasn't important. It was more important to found a guy that she could relax with, that she could feel good around. At the end of the day, women are gonna go for the guy that makes them feel good, however that guy, you know, whatever status that guy is, however he looks, um, and however he acts. If he makes her feel good, that's the guy she's gonna go for. Now also too, what I would recommend, and this is not really one of the three reasons that I talked about, but sometimes guys can get a little boring. So just make sure that there's a certain level of excitement and it feels like it's going somewhere. So if you start out on a date and it, it starts out up here where you guys are super into each other and then kind of goes down, that's actually worse than a date that started way down here, but then ends a little bit higher because at least it's progressing in the right direction, okay? So make sure that the dates are progressing in the right direction. Don't put too much pressure on the girl. Don't try and control her. Don't be needy and don't intimidate her too much, okay? You are enough. Assume the attraction. A lot of times this stuff is gonna fall into place. Guys, if you're wondering how to do this or wondering how to get coached by me in person, again, check out my description down below. Check out my live training schedule. I'm gonna be doing an American tour January and February. Thanks a lot. And dude, if you have any questions about this sort of stuff or maybe there's a certain situation that happened with you and a woman please put it in the comment section down below i'll try and read them if i have time thanks a lot you guys good luck out there